What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing my coming out story. Disclaimer, I'm not going to be talking about any of my past relationships, any of my past girlfriends, nothing like that. I'm just going to tell y'all how I came to a realization that I was gay and how I came out to my family and the people around me. So, so this dates all the way back into elementary school. In elementary school, like, people used to do shit like this or shit like that. And if you looked at it, it meant you was gay. Stupid as hell, I know, but... All I knew was gay was a bad thing. I didn't know that people were actually gay. I just thought that's something that someone made up because it wasn't normal. And yeah, that's just what I thought of it. I never knew that people could actually be gay. This was in elementary school, y'all. I probably was like in the second grade. So I was probably like seven, six. I don't remember. I ever owed you in the second grade, that's how old I was. So in second grade, I actually had a crush on one of the girls in my classroom. But mind you, it never crossed my mind that I was gay because I didn't think that people actually, I didn't think those people actually existed. So I didn't think I was gay. I just said, oh, I think she's cute. That's normal, right? No, it wasn't normal. I never told her nothing like that just because I knew back then that girls weren't supposed to date girls and boys weren't supposed to date girls. I was like, okay, this isn't normal. Maybe this is just a phase I'm going through, right? Wrong. Second grade, I had a crush. Third grade, I had a crush. Fourth grade, I had a crush. Fifth grade, I have a crush. Sixth, seventh, all the way up until I came out, I had a crush on a girl, but I never let the girl knew because I knew that that wasn't a normal thing. So I wanna say about fifth grade is when I realized, okay, so I had a crush on what's the name in second grade. I had a crush on what's the name in third grade. So like, what's going on with me? What's going on with me? So. And so I was just denying it in my head. I was like, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I just think she's cute. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I said, I will never date her. I just think she's cute. So I didn't think I was gay. I was doing everything in my mind to basically like block off the fact that I was gay. So when I came into middle school, that's when it came more evident that, okay, I'm not like all the other girls, right? I wasn't dressing girly. I always dressed in like jeans, shirts, and shoes. Now, I know that doesn't mean you're gay because there's a lot of girls that are tomboys that, you know, like men. I know that. But it was different for me because I wore these clothes, but I, I never found a boy attractive. I always found a girl attractive. But in my head, I'm like, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. So, yeah, in middle school, I would get the questions, um, are you gay? And I'll say, no, I'm not gay. I like boys. And I will always say that. I will always deny the fact that I always told them I like boys. I even convinced myself that I like boys, but I knew deep down I didn't. I wanna say about mid seventh grade, I came to a realization, I was like, okay, I'm gay. But I didn't like the fact that I was gay, so I said, I'm just not gonna tell nobody, I'ma hide it. No one's not gonna know I'm gay. I knew I was at this time. At seventh grade, I was like, okay, yeah, I like girls. I don't like any of these niggas here. All these girls are just so fine to me. That's like, that's just how it was, bro. Like, I, it, in middle school, it was a bigger school. You know, you had seventh graders, eighth graders, you just had different people, right? So it was just like, that's when I came to the realization that I like girls. But every time someone would ask me, am I gay? I would tell them, no, I'm not. But I knew deep down in the back of my head, I was like, hell yeah, I'm gay. I remember I even wore a dress to school one day just so motherfuckers would stop asking me. I swear, bro, I wore a dress to school one day just so motherfuckers would stop asking me. I did not like that dress. I hated it when I got home, took that shit right off. Next day, came back to school in my regular clothes. I was like, I'm never doing that again. I did that just to prove, just, just just to prove to motherfuckers that I'm not gay. Cause like growing up, it was labeled as a bad thing, so I didn't want to say I was gay and get made fun of. That's just how it was. Now I don't give a fuck about what people think, but back in the sixth, seventh grade, hell yeah, I care about what people talk about me. So I was like, no, I'm not gay. It took a while for me to accept the fact that I was gay because I didn't want to be. Cause all growing up, I knew that being gay was a bad thing. I didn't want to believe the fact that I was gay, so I did everything on my mind to convince myself that I was not gay. I remember I even wore a dress to school one day just so people could stop asking me, am I gay? Even though that doesn't mean things, you could hide it, but I thought if I wore a dress, people would stop asking me that because I always dressed in boys' clothes. Not necessarily boy clothes, but I always dressed like a tomboy. No one ever seen me with a boy. If they did see me with a boy, I was either playing sports with them or talking about video games with them. I never, like 
had a romantic rom I never had a romantic relationship with a boy. Never ever. If I if I did have a relationship with a boy, it was a strictly friendship. That's all it was, bro. All it was is a strictly friendship. Mid seventh grade. I would get that question asked. I remember there was this girl in my um, English class. She used to ask me every single day, like, am I gay? And I would tell her, no, stop asking me that. Like, like what the fuck? Do you like me? Is that why you asking me that? Like, what the hell? Like, no, I'm not. I used to like, bro. I used to get so mad at her for asking me that because it was okay, like, the first two times. But every single day, my nigga, like, stop asking me that. So, that's my head. Like, that stuck with me, like... I went home, I actually pumped out, I said, okay, am I gay? And I, I, I took a step back, I visualized what I was going through in school, what I thought about boys, what I thought about girls, and then I was like, oh my God, I'm gay. And y'all, I was scared for my life, I swear, because listen, growing up, if you're gay, you're going to hell. If you're gay, that's a bad thing. You're going to get stereotyped. You're going to get killed. All these bad things was associated with being gay. So I was actually terrified that the fact that I was gay. I was like, oh my gosh. I said, I can't let nobody know this. I said, I'm going to just hide it. But it just, it, it didn't work, y'all. It didn't work. It just, it just didn't work, man. I, it's never worked. I, I never liked a boy. It was this boy that liked me, but I'm just like, mm. I told him I'm not allowed to date, I swear. But it wasn't, that is just the thought of me holding hands and kissing the nigga, no. And y'all, disclaimer, I never kissed a boy a day in my life. My first kiss was with a girl, I swear to God. I never kissed a boy a day in my life. My first kiss was in the ninth grade. I can admit that. I never kissed a boy. I swear to God, I never kissed a boy. My first kiss was in the ninth grade. I swear to God. The, girl, the girlfriend I had in ninth grade was my very first kiss. I never kissed a boy, y'all. Never kissed a boy, never had sex with a boy, never did any of that. Anything that was sexual and relationship-wise was strictly with a girl entering high school. So eighth grade, that's when I realized, okay, I'm gay and there's no way that I'm gonna date a boy. There's no way that I'm gonna ever want to date a boy. So I'm gonna have to tell somebody I'm gay. I was like, I don't know who I'm gonna tell. I have to tell somebody. I had a crush on this girl. I would flirt with her and stuff like that, but not like, like, uh, I would flirt with a girl, but it wasn't like obviously flirting with her. Like, oh, you could do that a third. I will just mess with her. That's just what, like, honestly, how I would flirt, I would literally mess with a girl. Like, I would like, quote, not really bully her, but I would just mess with her all the time. I'm not gonna say no names, but a girl I did have a crush on, uh, she never knew, but eventually my crush felt like, I didn't have a crush on her anymore, but I know for a fact that some people watching this video know who this girl is. The people I went to elementary school with, the people I went to middle school with, I said, I don't owe them people not a damn explanation. You gonna know I'm gay when you see me with a girl. That, that's, just what I, that's just what I told them. I was like, I'm not gonna tell no, I'm not gonna tell like nobody, like none of my friends or none of that. I'm not gonna tell them I'm gay. I'm just gonna tell my family and accept it within myself. So the summer of eighth grade, I finally accepted the fact that I was gay. I was like, okay, I'm gay. There's no denying it no more. That's what I am. And I'm somewhat proud of it. So I was watching this YouTuber at the time named Twains because I still didn't know how I was going to come out to my parents because you didn't look up on the internet how to come up, come out to your parents. Like that wasn't a thing. I knew I had to do this on my own, like just off the top. Like I didn't know how I was going to do it. I just knew I was. So I actually did do some research on how people came out to their parents and every single like, so like every time someone like told the story, I was like, I can't do that. I was like, I know that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. But there's this one YouTuber in particular. I actually watch this YouTuber a lot. I don't know if he still uploads or not, but at the time his name was Twains. I don't know if he still uploads, but it was that happy llama sad, llama mentally disturbed, llama super llama drama llama, that nigga, right? I don't know if y'all know him. Y'all probably don't. So. He was gay and he actually told a story on how he came out to his parents. And I basically like, I didn't take the same idea, but the words he used to come out to his parents, I was like, okay, I'm gonna use those exact words. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I'm gonna do it. It took me a minute to actually build the courage to tell my parents I was gay. Even though I had a narrative of how I was gonna do it, it still was like a scary thought in the back of my head. Like, are my parents gonna accept me? What are they gonna think about? Cause like, like I said, I did do some type of research and it varies. Like some people, parents said they accepted it. Other people said they kicked them out. I was like, bro, I don't think my mom gonna kick me out, but I don't know how they gonna, I don't know how they gonna react to this. So I remember it was like, probably like three o'clock in the morning, me and my sister were up in the living room was talking and I actually came out to my sister first. Um, I was telling her about this girl that I liked 
and I didn't use the words like I liked her or anything like that, but I was just explaining to her how I felt about the girl. And she was like, are you gay? And I was like, yeah. She was like, for real? I was like, yeah. And I was like, how do you feel about that? She was like, I don't care. So I asked her, I said, should I tell mom and dad? She was like, yeah, you should. I was like, right now? She was like, yeah, right now. So I got up from the couch, I walked over to the door and I knocked on the door. It was sleep, but you know, I knocked pretty loud. So they was like, come in what? And I was like, I gotta tell y'all something. They was like, what you gotta tell us? I was like, do y'all accept me? They was like, Lazaria, get out of here with that. I'm like, no, this is for real. I gotta tell y'all something. They was like, what? I was like, do y'all accept me? They was like, of course we do. And I said, do you accept the fact that I'm gay? My dad was like, what? He was like, Lazaria, get out here with that. I'm like, I'm for real, I'm gay. And my mom was like, are you serious? I was like, yes, I am. And that's when they was like, okay, we'll talk about it more in the morning. So like I said, it was four o'clock in the afternoon. They had to be to work. I mean, it was four o'clock in the morning. They had to be to work in the morning. So they didn't have time to sit up there and talk to me about that. So later that day, my mom was actually off the next day and she was braiding my hair down. And that's when she was like, I remember what you told us last night. I was like, yeah. She was like, did you really mean that? And I was like, yeah. And that's when she was like, so are you gay or are you bisexual? And I said, I'm bisexual. I said, I like boys and girls. She said, okay, well, how did you know you like girls? And I basically told her about this girl I used to like flirt with in um, class and stuff like that. And I said, I had a crush on her. And she was like, okay. She was like, are you sure this is not a phase? I was like, ma, no. I said, I've been dealing with this battle in my head ever since I was in the fifth grade. This is not a phase. I was telling her that. So some years went by and my mama never really brought up the fact that, um, she never really brought up me being gay again. My dad never brought up about me being gay again, but it was this one time in high school, it was like, probably like around my birthday time, um, my mama brought it up again. I was like, do you remember me telling you that I was gay? And she was like, yeah. She said, are you still gay? I'm like, yes, it's not a phase that that's actually how I am. So me and my mom just had, had sat down and had this talk. And just, just to make sure that this is something I was, and I said, I remember I came out to you as bisexual and I said, but that's not true. I said, I said, I've been going through high school, I've been going through life and I don't find any boys attractive. I'm attracted to girls, like strictly I'm attracted to girls. So my mama, at first she wasn't okay with it, but she didn't, she still loved me the same. She said, I'm not okay with you being gay, but I don't love you any less and you're still my daughter and I love you. Now, disclaimer, now my mama don't care. My mama's okay with, I'm, my mama's perfectly fine with my gay. Um, now my mama don't care. My mama know I'm gay. She let girls come over here and spend the night. My mama know I'm gay. She has no problem with it, you know? Now she's okay with it. At first she didn't accept it because this was something new to her. None of, none of her other kid, my brother didn't come out as gay. My sister didn't come out as gay. So this was something new to my mama. She never had to deal with this, so you know she wasn't she didn't she wasn't okay with it, but she accepted it if that makes sense. So yeah, then my dad, I thought my dad was really gonna be disappointed in me, but my dad wasn't. My dad was like, I don't like boys either. Like he was he was cool with it. I think my dad was actually more relieved that I didn't like boys because I couldn't get pregnant and this, that, and the third. So I think my dad was actually more relieved than like mad, I guess. Later on in the talk, my parents actually told me, they was like, we knew you were gay. We was just waiting on you to tell us. And I'm like, how did y'all know? They was like, it was pretty obvious. I never talked about a boy. I never talked about having a boyfriend or none of that. I just always just was me. They knew I was gay. They was just waiting on me to tell them. So that's what happened. Um, I told my grandparents, they was fine with it. My brother, he was fine with it. Everybody accepted me. So all the fears I had in my head of like, gay being a bad thing i was like i was doing all of this for nothing i was worrying crying praying all for nothing like i can't change how i am no matter how bad i deny it in my head no matter how bad i try to hide it no matter what i tell people this is me and this is who i am i don't like boys i like girls and if you don't like it fuck you i'll take your bitch simple as that. this isn't something i can change gay wasn't a choice because trust me 
If gay was being a choice, nigga, I would not have been gay because I was doing everything in my willpower to convince myself that I'm not gay. So that's how I know. Now for some people, some people, being gay is a choice. I know many girls who said, I'm gay, now they with a boy. They fucking pregnant and shit. For me, at least, gay isn't been a choice. I know some people, some girls can flip that switch on and off. I don't know how they do it. Me, I can't. Don't like boys, never like their boys, wasn't attracted to a boy. Only girls, only women, only females. Only thing I like. As far as coming out to the people at my school, I never did. I never did. They realized it when I started dating a girl. That's that's just what it was. No one ever said nothing about it. People I went to middle school with, they already knew. I'm pretty sure the people I went to middle school who asked me was I gay. I'm pretty sure they already knew I was. They just was like, okay, whatever, let's argue. You do saying you not, but we know you are. So when I actually started dating a girl in, in high school, no one came to me like, oh my gosh, you're gay. Like no one, no one ever said that to me. So I just knew that at that point, see, motherfuckers just already knew. They just was waiting for me to say it too. So if you're watching this video and you want to come out to your family, your friends being gay, I say go for it. I can't say that your outcome is going to be like mine, like your parents are going to be accepting or your friends are going to be accepting. But trust me, once you do, it's going to be like a whole weight lifted off your shoulders. You can finally be you. Because y'all, y'all, while I was in middle school dealing with that, it was like I was trapped in, in, in a box. Like I was trapped. It's like I couldn't really be myself. I couldn't tell people like how I really felt. I, I couldn't do none of that because I was just so scared of being rejected by my family, friends, everybody. I thought if I came out as gay, no one would want to like be my friend. My family wouldn't accept me. That's what I thought, honestly. Because like I said, I thought it was a bad thing. But being gay is not a bad thing. God made you the way you are. If you're gay, you're not going to hell. The Bible says no sin is greater than the other. So all these people saying you're going to hell because you're gay, Tell them they going to hell because they got they had sex before they got married, God damn it. No sin is greater than the other. So I just want to say, if you gay, just go for it, man. Tell your family, tell your friends, even if they accept it, fuck them. If you tell your friends you gay and they don't like you, they're not your friends to begin with. Fuck them niggas and be you, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with being by yourself. I came out as gay. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm, I'm fine with who I am, you know? That's just me. But that's the end of this video, y'all. This was some good-ass Chick-fil-A. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all leave some video suggestions down below because I'm running out of video ideas. But like I said, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all niggas next time.